king of Falvers. There was a woman named Mary who worked as a technical support specialist in a call centre. It was very busy and her phones were ringing off the hook. She was having trouble keeping up with a huge number of calls. Shortly after lunch, Mary answered the phone and there was a very angry customer on the other end. He said he'd been waiting on hold for almost 45 minutes. She apologised for keeping him waiting, but the man was very agitated and didn't want to listen to her excuses. <clears throat> when she was not able to find a solution to his problem immediately, he became even more upset. She put out, put him on hold, and when she came back, he became very hostile towards her. Mary asked him to remain calm and assured him that she would fix his problem as soon as possible. No matter what she said, it just seemed to make him more and more angry. He was shouting at her, ranting and raving about how she was wasting his precious time, complaining how much the money a phone call was costing him. Eventually, the R8 customer began cursing and swearing at her, and Mary was forced to hang up on him. Now, later, he called back. His attitude was even worse. He flew into rage and demanded to know why she had hung up the phone. When he started using foul language again, Mary slammed down the receiver. <clears throat> At the end of the day, Mary called back. The man called back again. This time he calmed down and seemed embarrassed. He apologised for his rude behaviour and asked her name, telling her he wanted to send her something to make up for it. Oh, you don't need to do that, said Mary. No, no, I really want to, replied the man. Just a little present to show how sorry I am. We're not actually supposed to give out our names, he said wearily. Just give me your first name then, he said. Okay, well, okay, my name is Mary, he replied. Sure enough, when Mary arrived at work the next that morning, there was a lavish bouquet of flowers sitting on her desk. There was a card with flowers, with flowers that had a name on it. Mary delighted nobody had ever sent her flowers before. At the end of the day, she... At the end of the day, when she, her shift ended, Mary said goodbye to her co-workers, picked up the bouquet of flowers, and walked out to the car park. She wanted to get the flowers home quickly, so she put them in a the vase. As she was about to turn around to get in the car, car, she turned around and saw a small, balding, middle-aged man walking towards her. Suddenly he pulled out a gun and put it in at her. Nobody hangs up on me. <coughs> <coughs> he shouted. As he pulled the trigger, Mary was shot four times and died on the way to the hospital. The police tracked her down. The man who shot her arrested her. It turned out that he was an angry customer. He was had sent the bouquet of flowers in order to identify her. <laughs>